Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for these moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd. I read today from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 6. For even though we walk in the flesh, we do not wage war in the way the sinful flesh does. Certainly, the weapons of our warfare are not those of the flesh, but weapons made powerful by God for tearing down strongholds. We tear down thoughts, such as all arrogance that rises up against the knowledge of God, and we make every thought captive so that it's obedient to Christ. And we are ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is fully restored. Many years ago, United Artists released a sci-fi thriller called War Games. And you might remember the movie as two teenagers battle a supercomputer that's ready to wage nuclear war in the world. At the end of the movie, one of the characters, uh, compu that computer named Wopro, W-O-P-R, makes an observation about nuclear war. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. The early Christian community was made up of people at the margin of, Ro of the Roman Empire. They were primarily slaves, Jews, women, and people powerless in a world that valued might and status over everything else. And those in charge had no problem using that might and status to put down anyone who dared to get in their way. But over time, this community of Jesus' followers managed to turn the entire Roman Empire upside down. How did they accomplish that? by refusing to play Rome's game. Instead of using the power of Rome, they used the power of God's Spirit to love and serve those around them, even their persecutors. Because of this strange divine power, so many Romans embraced the way of Jesus that their society became radically transformed. In one of his letters to the Corinthian church, the Apostle Paul wrote, The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world. Right now, our global society is full of conflict, often violent. People, even Christians, are using the power of this world to dominate and destroy their enemy. But the Jesus way is different. The Jesus way a divine power that transformed whole societies uses a basin, a towel, a cross, an empty tomb, unstoppable love, and the good news that Jesus has defeated the power of evil and death. So what would happen if Christians stopped playing the world's game? What would happen if instead we engaged the world in a way the early Jesus followers did. Perhaps we might see a similar transformation of our society. We pray. Lord Jesus, your simple message of love as taught and lived out by the early Christians under your blessing transformed the world. We pray that each of us would live that message of love to the world around us so that your transforming power can change lives. Amen. Well, everyone, may God bless you and keep you this day. And until next time, walk with our Lord.